When I first came to uh, Los Angeles, head, hands, and feet, Ernie Ball and his son Sterling had heard, had heard our record on the radio, and they were um, they were quite tickled to discover there was this English band playing country music. So they came to a couple of gigs, and uh, we became really firm friends. You know, we went down to to their factory which was down in Newport Beach at the time and uh, really became good friends of the family is sleeping on the couch down there and whatever you know and so um, you know and uh, we've had a long association ever since this was like 71 maybe maybe 71 and uh, of course I haven't had to buy any strings since which has been pretty handy uh, uh, Sterling's been uh, been a great friend, I must say. You know, uh, back in the early '70s, his godfather, Tom Walker, started the uh, Music Man Company with Leo Fender. Leo was designing the guitars, and Tom did the amps. So um, I was one of the first to get, uh, you know, the uh, the amp the amps that came off the line there. You know, every time they had a new amp, I had one. You know, so I've, I think I've got about 15 of them now, all different shapes and sizes. You know. And uh, really good amps, and they still work. You know, they're thirty odd years old, and they're still fantastic amps. You know, um, I didn't like particularly like the guitars that Leo was making, so I, I stuck to my Telecaster at the time. You know, but uh, he went off. He he and Tom split up, and and Leo went off to start GNL. Tom carried on on his own for a while, but then Ernie Ball bought the Music Man name and uh, decided not to go with the amps, but uh, really wanted to design uh, a, a new electric guitar, you know? And uh, like being one of the family, I kind of put in my two cents with uh, what I'd liked in, in a guitar, you know? And uh, Steve Morse was around at the time, and Dudley Gimple was the uh, main designer, you know? And uh, the first guitar they came out with was the uh, Silhouette, which uh, I just fell in love with. I, I took that on the road. Uh, with the Everly Brothers, and uh, it just worked perfectly for for the kind of gigs I, w I was doing, you know. So I played the I played the uh, silhouette for a, a couple of years, and then uh, Sterling called me one day. He said, "Oh, he said I've got a guitar that you'll like. We just made some prototypes, and uh, it looked very much like this." And uh, we we were playing a gig together, you know. So I I showed up and he opened the case up and he said, "What do you think of that?" I said, oh, like that, it's kind of wacky, you know, a bit different, you know. So he said, oh, okay, it's yours, you know. So he, he gave it to me, and I think he regretted it for a little while there because it became my number one guitar, and it wasn't the guitar that they were actually selling, you know. So, uh, but, uh, you know, I just fell in love with this thing, you know. But he, uh, you know, we toyed with the idea there for a, a few years. He said, well, maybe, you know, one day we might put your name on it, you know. And, oh, great, whatever, you know. I was I was happy playing a guitar that nobody else had that was made by a major company, you know. But uh, so uh, he uh, he got the production up, you know. He built a new f factory and and uh, and then he was making guitars for Eddie Van Halen and uh, of course Eddie can sell a few more guitars than I can, so I had to wait, you know. But uh, eventually uh, my guitar came out and I, I've forgotten how many years it is now. It must be 12 years, 15 years now. It's been out there. And I just love it, you know. It's been um, been, been a really reliable guitars, you know. And uh, I mean, they look like uh, they look like a short scale. I mean, it's a small body, but they're, they're, it's a regular scale, same, I same as a Strat, I believe. And the the spacings on this are, are the same as a Strat. But I don't know. It just seems to sustain more than the Strat, just because it's more compact. And uh, you know, the fact that you've got the, you know, shorter headstock and um, I, I have Seymour Duncan's in my guitars. I, I, I really like his pickups, and uh, he was always very good to me over the years. You know, if I needed a, a pickup for my telly or whatever, he'd just send me one. You know, so I wanted to repay him for his generosity. So I, you know, I, I, I really wanted to use them in in, in my guitar. Um, uh, initially, they didn't they didn't have a tremolo, and I I hadn't been using a tremolo since uh, 
since the early 60s when I had my Bigsby, you know. And, uh, but they sent me one to, uh, to evaluate one day. I, it, they had some other pickups that they wanted me to try, you know. And it had a tremolo on it. And uh, I said, well, uh, you know, I don't think the pickups are any better than the ones I've got, but I, can I keep the guitar? I like the, pick, I like the, the tremolo, you know. And it's become uh, a staple now. I really, I really like it. Re really... Uh, uh, really well, well designed and it always comes back in tune you know so so um yeah I'm, i feel very grateful i've got su such a guitar you know they do Thank you. 